that was not an hour. <laughs> I know it's kind of, but that means it's good, right? Yeah. Like if it, it doesn't means I want more. Yeah, if it doesn't feel like it's been a full hour while we're sitting there watching, because it didn't feel like an hour to me, and then it's over. It's like, yeah. no, give me more. Welcome to Durbania. I'm Durbin. I'm Laura. And this is our spoiler review for episode two of season seven of Game of Thrones. Yeah. 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 I, I can't think of anything else to preamble, so why don't we just jump right into it? Yeah, the only preamble I have is at the end of every episode, I know it's coming. And I'm like, that was not an hour. <laughs> I know, it's kind of, but that means it's good, right? Yeah. Like if it, it doesn't. I want more. Yeah, if it doesn't feel like it's been a full hour while we're sitting there watching, because it didn't feel like an hour to me, and then it's over. It's like, yeah. no, give me more. But anyway. I kind of miss blitzing the season and watching it all at once. <laughs> Yeah. Because <laughs> I yeah. keep waiting another the, week. The last couple seasons, seasons five, six, and six, actually all of them all the way up through, watched, we just blitzed yeah. them. So, because we didn't watch it live until this year. Yeah. So this, yeah, I kind of miss that too, because it's nice to get it all back to back. But it is also fun waiting for each week because, you know, now I'm playing that waiting game. Like, what's going to happen? Like the end of the last episode where we end with Khaleesi and Tyrion and all of them, they're back in Khaleesi's hometown. They're in Westeros. Westeros and we're getting ready and she's like so it begins and that's the end of the episode so like that was great and I liked this episode picked up right there mm -hmm. but just like the season premiere picked up with something intense the toast and it was really Arya destroying that entire yeah. house that killed her entire family I think this one opened with equal intensity but in a different way mm -hmm. where where we have Khaleesi and Varys, am I saying his name right? Lord Varys. Lord yes. Varys. Where we have Khaleesi and Lord Varys. I'm bad with names, but I'm good with faces, and I really like Lord Varys. He's mm -hmm. a really cool character. And having their intense conversation where Khaleesi's all about, how do I know you won't betray me? Yes. And she goes through his list of betrayals. I mean, I don't know. What did you think of that? I thought that was a really intense way to open the episode. I thought it was an intense way to open it because I'm like, what's going to happen to Lord Varys? Yeah. I'm like, he is <laughs> like, he is slippery. And everything she said, he definitely did. Yeah. But and then Tyrion as... tries to stand up and defend him. And she's like, shh. And she's like, no. But the thing is, as soon as he said, I've done everything for the people because that's yes. who I support. I'm like, oh. He's good. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> well, she's won, not going to kill him today. <laughs> but you know, it's interesting. It won me over too, but it won me over because it's like, it's the truth. Yeah. He hasn't served any of the kings. He served the, the people. people. And Khaleesi has made it a big deal. That, that is her platform. She's all about the people yes. and freedom. So I thought that was cool too, because I like Lord Varys and I'd like yes. to see him live on with his little birds and, Same you know, here. get more information. I don't know. And then we have the Red Lady show up. Uh, yes. the, the lady who's the agent of the Lord of Light. Yes. And it's interesting because Khaleesi pardons her and, well, I don't think she pardons her necessarily. She just accepts her. She accepts her, accepts her yeah. And, um, and then she mentions Jon Snow. She wants Jon to come to her and she wants him to, you know, take a knee. And so Tyrion writes a letter to him and he ends it at the tagline that he would understand. And at the same time, he gets a letter from Samwell about the dragon glass that yeah. that place is sitting on. And so John's <laughs> like, how do I not go? Well, I thought it was interesting because at first, you know, Jon Snow just gets the letter from uh, Tyrion about yes. Khaleesi. And, but you know, he respectfully listened to Sansa. Yeah. And I like that. Like, okay, so, you know, it's a give and take. I, I like I said last week, I want Jon Snow and Khaleesi to we like, want them to, to be together because it turns out there's a small chance they might be related, but yeah, whatever. For are, them but... to rule together, that would be a mighty dynasty, and yes. I think that would be awesome. So I think I... they'd be married just to team up together. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So ignore the marriage, but yeah. just a partnership, an equal partnership, yes. that would be something awesome. And since and... John doesn't want to be a ruler. He would be happy to give it to her. I think he would have been happy to take the knee and say, you want these lands? Just let the North be a place of free peoples, which she's all about the free yeah. peoples. So to me, that's all good. And I, I was kind of with John and his disappointment that Sansa didn't want him to go. And I'm mad at Sansa for voicing that opinion. Don't go. It's a trap. She is like the Mad King, her mm -hmm. father. And this but is the same trap. But none of them know her. So they don't know. I it. know. Just, they're just going off her father and her father's mad king reputation, which yes. makes me so angry. Because she doesn't even remember her father. But then he gets that thing, the note from Samwell finally, that the dragon glass is there. So I'm excited. Like, I've got to go. Because now he's convinced to go. But now I'm concerned because I think when he had the, the, the meeting of his lords mm -hmm. and 
nobody was for him going. A Targaryen cannot be trusted. But the speech that he gave, nobody rebelled, and then he put Sansa in control. Okay, so here's a prediction. I'm gonna make a prediction, and I hope I'm wrong. I, I hope I'm wrong. Sansa. I think Sansa is going to listen to Littlefinger. I do. I think it's gonna take Not time. Not right away. It'll no, take no, like no. three episodes. Yeah, it's gonna take time. But, <laughs> Maybe but, only but, one. Who knows? She's kind of... But here's my point with that. I think she's going to listen to Littlefinger eventually. And she's gonna start winning over the people of the North because John left her in charge. The North is hers until he returns. Yes. But I think when he returns, the North won't be his now. I think... They'll have loyalty to Sansa, I think, potentially. Yeah, and I think Sansa is a little rebellious and a little strong-headed, and mm -hmm. I think her views are pretty narrow. Well, I also think the fact that nobody there has seen the White Walkers, because the Wildlings are now helping the he Black He said that Wa in his yeah. speech. He's like, we have to go. We have to get we them. I the have help. to do this, because we can't fight the White Walkers alone. And he said that. None of you have seen what I've seen. Yes. If you saw what I saw, you know the numbers and the odds are not in our favor. I have to do this. She's got freaking dragons. Mm -hmm. We want the dragon glass, but she's got the freaking dragons. And so it's like, I don't know. I'm passionately for Jon Snow doing this. But what I am predicting is Sansa being the little pig-headed person she is and having not seen the White Walkers. I think she'd be good if she'd seen them, but she hasn't seen them. So her prejudice is towards Cersei, and I think that's going to get in the way of things. I think she's going to win the North. The North is going to keep her there, and Jon is not going to come home to a kingdom. Uh, yeah, uh, I hope that's not true, but I we'll do see. Too. Um, then there's also, well, Samwell's story, which he's with Jorah Mormont. Mormont yes. Yeah, Mormont. Well, it has a T at the and end. And he's got grayscale, yeah, and it's really scale. all over him. And so, and they're like, oh, good luck. You you know, you might go crazy yeah. in six and months. And, You'll and Professor Slughorn is like, you got about 10 years left of life and six months left of normal yeah, sanity. Arch Archmeister something. We don't know what his name is, so he'll be Slughorn. For I'm us. calling him um, Professor <laughs> Slughorn. And henceforth, you all know, no matter what his Game of Thrones name is, he's Slughorn. <laughs> so, Samwell finds a way to do it and an arch an to cure the grayscale yeah. of an adult and somebody has done it before twice but he also died of it too the guy who cured it twice yeah so um samwell knowing jorah mormont's father because he was with his father when he died at the protecting wall. Yeah. them yeah um that's why he went and wanted to you know he's like hey he's like this is a great man he's like and you're his son I'm gonna do my part for you. I so. love Samwell's line, you are not dying tonight. That was great. Yeah, so, oh man, the cutting off of the grayscale, uh, it was rough. That... But let me tell you, when he went back and cut and it transitioned into the bread bowl. Oh yeah, the, the I pie. I just went, oh, because oh. I thought it was his skin at first. That was a killer transition. So, so when they're cutting through the scales, and I love Samwell, and I thought that was interesting between Professor Slughorn and Samwell, Samwell's like, no, it has been cured in an advanced age on an adult. Yes. It's written in this book and the steps to do it. And Professor Slughorn is like, the guy who wrote the book and did that died of grayscale. Yeah. So it's a very interesting back and forth, but I love Samuel's heart to do it. But what the transition that you're talking about is so interesting. You know, he puts the wood in, in Jorah's mouth and he's like, I have to ask you, please do not scream. Or else it'll be the death of both of us. But what was much. so... But. Samwell is getting the strongest imagery so far this season. Yes. That's that in the, the first jobs. episode we got that graphic poop stuff that in the very beginning that kept going and, going and going and going. Now we get the strong what we really do. <laughs> we get the strong imagery as he's cutting each little grayscale oh. off and this weird green gold pussy blood comes out and then it transitions to that soup and they yeah. break through the skin of the soup and the white stuff comes up and they just, oh man it was oh my gosh it was a great transition it but was but then that leads to Arya yes who was it that at the area where the bread was being eaten and she meets Pie Boy yes. again and I was just when she heard that John was king of the north she one didn't believe the kid who said yeah. it and luckily he's like why, what do I have why do I have to lie there's no point and so she was gonna follow these soldiers to Queen's Landing and because she heard John was King of the North, she turned and went north. And as soon as she turned and went north, I'm like, her dire wolf better come back. Of course, that scene where Arya gets on her horse and she now has to make this decision whether she's gonna keep going on her road south <laughs> or whether she's gonna turn north. What you should have seen in that scene was her. I kept yelling while we at Arya not it. to be an idiot. <laughs> she did. <laughs> 
on, mom, she was like, 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 come on, girl, do the right thing here. And she went north. And it was I was so very cool. happy about that because I just think she would be a valuable person to the north. Oh, yeah. Very valuable, especially now that she can do the face stuff. Oh, yeah. But like what you said about the, the dire wolf, as soon as the wolves begin to surround her and her camp. And I'm like, oh, her dire wolf. Yeah. It's coming. And then the dire wolf came up. That dire wolf. The reason it's there is we are going to get more of it. And that is a prediction. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, and I don't know what role that wolf is going to play. But that wolf now basically runs the pack that was about to eat her. Yep. We clearly recognize the fact that it saw her and it knew her. And that's why they didn't kill her and eat her. But what was that line she said to the wolf as it was walking away? It's not your fault, I think. Is that what she said? It's not your fault? Or it isn't you. It isn't you? Yeah. I, I don't, there's probably significance to it from when she let him yeah, go. Yeah, I can't remember. And so I long. don't remember, but I feel like she said that something like that to him when she was telling him yeah. to get lost. Yeah. Uh, you know, to go, you know, because if he didn't get lost, he would be dead now. But, I or mean. Or she, I don't know if it's he or she. I don't, give Doesn't your, matter. Give, I gave the last prediction. Do you have a dire wolf prediction? I don't, but I know there's going to, I mean, the dire wolf isn't gone yet. Is that the it, last dire wolf alive? I, I think so. It might be. I can't remember. I, I was really mm, heartbroken yeah. when John's dire wolf died. Well, it's that heartbreaking when all these dire wolves die. Yeah. And now we got like this one that we know of left. If there's any more alive, let us know in the comments. But we got yeah. the one that we know of that is alive. Yes. And they did not bring it back for no reason. It was not in vain. No. We, we are oh, going I know. To. Something's going to happen. Even if Arya is in charge of like the wolf army. I don't know. Because weird stuff happens. <gasps> Her brother is a warg. Maybe he can be, like, with the dire wolf. Maybe. That's going to be he'll... my prediction. He's going to control the dire wolf at some point. Yes. Done. Fascinating. So I guess, I, okay, this is me kind of guessing maybe a prediction, but I'm thinking about Arya getting back. I think she'll get successfully back to the north. My question is, when she sees her sister there, will she hold the same prejudice her sister has and help? lead the charge to get Cersei and ignore the yes. stuff to the north and take yes. the kingdom away from Jon Snow? You think so? Yeah. Okay, I was just curious. I just, yeah. I hope she runs into Jon on the road. That would be cool. I don't think that'll happen, no. but I would like that. I would too, because then he could explain his view. Because I think if she could see Jon before Sansa, she would agree with Jon, but kind of be a little bit in the middle, mm -hmm. but just Sansa. Well, I'm sorry. Jon is the one who gave her her sword. Yeah. Wait. It has been so Sting. long. It was either even one. I mean, it was early. Sting early is not on. the name of her sword, is it? That's the, no, Hobbit. That's the Hobbit. Okay, Just but kidding. anyway, it was either it was either her oldest brother or it was Jon Snow. She had a bond with Jon Snow, though. I she think. did. Yeah. So no, either did. way, well, pardon our ignorance on that. It's been so long it's been since a long we've time seen season, season one, one, and so much has happened since then. Because I want to. Because if it wasn't her, it was Ned Stark. But I, I do think, I think if she gets there to Sansa alone, they both have a prejudice to Cersei, and I think this will cement the. Forget this stuff. Let's go get Cersei. Yeah. I think I think so. I do too. So this leads us to our final point here where we have, like, get to the end of this episode and Khaleesi has her strategic fleet of Greyjoys going to the strategic position. In Dorne, so that this way they can get Dorne's army and come back right. and attack. But they encounter Uncle Greyjoy on the way. And... Not you know what? Good. I Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I underestimated Uncle Greyjoy. I figured he would be a big point of this season, but I didn't think... They have to have one slimy sibling No, I know that, every but season I, and it's him. what I was not... I mean, I was expecting him to be somewhat of a thorn in people's sides, but I was not expecting him to derail Khaleesi that much. I wasn't expecting him to be able to take the, you know, the other Greyjoys out so easily. Exactly. That's what I'm that saying. That kind yeah. of caught me off guard. I'm That, I just, I mean... I knew he would put up a fight, and it would be a valiant fight, but I just, I guess I didn't expect it. And then, oh. Theon. Theon. You know. I feel, it's hard. We see him run off, and we're like, oh, he's doing a cowardly thing. But then we pity him because of all the crap that Well, he's been a captive before. Through. He's been a captive before. Yeah. He can't do it again, and it's bad because. And he, he is very much, I'm going to survive, yeah. too. And early on in the show, I couldn't stand Theon. And I would have wanted him skinned alive. But now that he's been yeah. broken, now that he's been through what he's been through. And now he's the only one left alive of that fleet. Yeah, I felt, I felt, well, his sister's probably alive. I don't, oh, I, I. I thought I, she was hanging from the ship. It was either her or one of the ladies from Dorne. We couldn't tell. It was really dark. Yeah, it was dark and silhouette-y. So yeah. I, I kind of, I predict she's still alive. Yeah, I can't, because that she's going to be the mighty gift to Cersei. Is she mighty enough for Cersei? 
I mean, would that well, mean something to Cersei to have her head? Because the rest of the ships are gone. I guess so. But are they? Maybe the mighty gift is he took out that fleet. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know if he realized how much he derailed Khaleesi's plans, but kudos to the episode because that whole scene, the stakes were so high mm -hmm. in that fight because we know how important this role is in, in Khaleesi's plan. Yes. And now, like a whole third of her plan is utterly derailed by what has just happened. Yeah. Oh, and one of the disappointing things for me is the three daughters from Dorne. You know, they're talking about how, oh, I want to kill this person. And I they were this. fighters and before. And you've seen them fight. They know how to fight. And I'm sorry. They died too easy. Uncle Greyjoy killed two of them without even, like, blinking, it seemed like. I just, yeah. I was very disappointed in that. I'm like, I would have expected a way better fight from that. Didn't they keep one of the daughters alive and the mother? Yes. So they're alive, and they said they wouldn't kill them, which is why I think uh, Theon's sister is alive. Yes, but I, it I, did. Oh, it, made, it might have been the two girls that did die that were hanging from the ship at the end. So what do you think is going to happen with Uncle Greyjoy now? Well, he's going to take him back to Cersei and see if that's a mighty enough gift to become her, her you know, husband slash king. I think he's going to marry her. I think that's going to happen. I, I, I don't think she's going to like it, but I think she's going to know the strategy of it. And I she's going to marry him. not. She's just, weird, okay? I like, know. I don't put this past her. We'll just have to wait till next week. Well... It's not going to happen next week. we are going to be sitting here on pins and needles about this for even longer. I know, but hopefully we'll get some closure to some things next week. Even I though so. I know how Game of Thrones work, and we won't. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. I love it. Well, what did you think of Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 2? Make sure to let us know in the comments. I'm going to give this episode probably an A. I enjoyed the action. I enjoyed the intensity of this one. And that ending where you just see Theon in the water and it ends that way. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Like that, And that fight scene at the end was just incredible. So I'm more hyped to see what's going to happen the rest of the season. See, for me, it's hard to give it a grade because I think I've got to see it in relation to the rest of the season. That's fair. And so I don't think I'm going to give grades until the end of the season. I'm, unless it's like right. flipping brilliant, like <laughs> last season's The the War episode. I, that was an amazing episode. That was brilliant. Well, And so yeah. that, that's kind of where, where I'm feeling. I enjoyed it a lot, and I would recommend it if you are a Game of Thrones fan. It was a good episode. So I, I don't know. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what's coming next. Again, your thoughts in the comments while you're there. Hit that subscribe button to become a Durbanian. Next to the subscribe button is that bell. Click that bell so you're mm -hmm. notified the moment I drop new videos. And I just did a whole bunch of Comic-Con trailer reactions. Make sure you check all of that out here on this channel. I'm Durbin. I'm Laura. Thank you for checking out Durbania.